This is CIS 102 Cisco Packet Tracer Activity 5325 Exploring the Cisco IOS CLI. And the first thing we're going to do is connect to the Cisco Customer 1841 router and we're going to use the terminal emulation software to connect to the router so we're going to first of all go over to the customer PC and we're going to desktop and then we're going to click on terminal click on OK and here we are at the uh, terminal emul emulation software place and the first thing we're going to do according to the directions is press enter and then we're at customer router prompt and then we're in the exec mode now we're going to complete step two which is explore the context sensitive help feature And the first thing we're going to do at the router command prompt is type in a question mark we need to constantly go back to the screen and click on it okay and there's a whole bunch of uh, executive commands that are available there and that's displayed for us right there now we're going to do some things here we're going to type in the E and then the question mark and we have enable and exit are shown okay then we're going to um, type the EN and the question mark and just the enable command is shown okay so we're going to keep going through these directions here uh, the prompt changes to um, customer n to type enable we're going to do that and enter that and now we're in the customer router uh, prompt we're in the privileged exact mode okay so we've completed steps one and two now let's go ahead and go to step three which is explore Cisco iOS command shortcuts uh, if you type letters that are unique to a command and then press the tab key the CLI automatically spells out the complete command okay so I'm at the command router and then I'm going to type in C and then I'm going to press the tab key okay and C by itself isn't unique to just one command so nothing happens so I'm going to then type in ONF and then we're going to see what happens there press the tab key and it says configure so we're getting somewhere here okay uh, the sequence of letters is unique to configure command the CLI automatically completes the command entry now after configure we are going to type in the question mark and we're going to see what it does and it says configure from the terminal CR okay this indicates that there are no other parameters that can be added to the configure command in this mode in this example the CLI shows that you can use terminal with the configure command configure terminal now the next thing we're going to do is explore error detection features at the configure prompt we're going to type in con okay and then press enter in this case it's an incomplete command and in the directions here it says ambiguous command okay then at the router command prompt we're going to enter configure terminal but we're going to spell it wrong it's going to be T-R-M-I-N-A-L we're going to press enter and sure enough the invalid input detected at marker appears on the screen now we're going to explore some other features here we're going to press control P and that shows us the 
earlier entered commands. Figure terminal con. And then we're going to con press control N. And that shows us the most recent one. Okay, the history buffer. Now, to view the last 10 commands entered, we're going to enter the show history command. Hopefully this works. It hasn't worked yet, but we'll see if it does. Show history. And press enter. And for some reason it didn't work. I'm not exactly sure why. But let's check our results to see how we did. And we'll get down to the bottom here. It says, congratulations on completing this activity. So we were able to successfully complete CIS 102 Cisco Packet Tracer Activity 5325, which is exploring the Cisco iOS CLI.